Hey everybody, Dave Williamson here, ToyCarCollector.com, and I live my life surrounded by toys. Now this is my office here in the basement of my home, and I have toys here, and I have toys there, and I have toys over here on the desk, and I have toys in my studio here. This is where I, can you see that? Not lighted very well. This is where I, this is where I take pictures of cars. This is my camera here. I don't want you to know what kind it is, because it's a secret. Then you might steal my secret, you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm gonna set this up, take some pictures of some cars tonight. My wife and some friends are upstairs, all women, so I escaped to the basement. And as a toy car collector, I have things to do, which mean uh, this box down here. I got this box right here of toys to list on my website from a collection I bought this week. Nice little collection, had some, you know, some good cars, some bad cars. But I really liked it, and I'm going to list those up right now. So I'm going to get over here to the studio and take some pictures. You want to see how I do it? Let's do it. All right. All right, so here I am in my studio, and I've got these cars to take photos of. And so what I do is I just throw them up here like that. And let's see, I arrange the camera just right and then click away, get the picture, turn it sideways, take the picture. Another way, that way, take the picture. I think I'm going the wrong way, but there I go, take the picture. And that's how we do it here in the photo studio. Let's do another one here, a couple more. And uh, there we go, we throw the car up. All right, get that focus. All right, take a picture, turn it sideways, take a picture. A little more, take a picture, one more, take a picture. Every once in a while I will do a side or a top view if I feel like it. Check this one out. This one is really good. Let's get you down there good. And here is, look at that, Pink Nomad. Yeah, got to put that one up on the side, the Pink Nomad. Take a picture. That is a really beautiful car. It does have a few chips on it, but the coloration is fantastic. Really hard to price a car like this. Let's focus it up here. Really hard to price a car like this because it does have some chips, as you can see on the front and on the back. I think there was one on the back, but the color is so good. Is that a crack in the windshield that I see? Let me take a look, close look at that. Do you see that? Close? Hmm, not sure. Let me go. I'm going to go over to the magnifier. You want to go with me? Let's go. Okay. All right, here's the magnifier. It is, I think I got this at like an office max or something there we go we got to focus up and we look at this thing under the magnifier hmm very nice uh let's see well there is chips on the top chips there chip 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 everywhere but the color is very unusually well good good and well very nice the hood is a little tone really difficult to price a car like this you can always throw it up on ebay and see what happens but i'm not a real big ebay seller so you know it's at least 150 to 200 i suppose because it is nice now let's get back over here to the studio and take some more pictures looks like the camera's turned itself off and i'm struggling to get all this done hey look at this that's not a red line that is a new newer car oh my goodness and look at those hands of mine i have been doing so much cleaning of stickers with with um you know, when you got cars on stickers on your car, you use Ronson oil, lighter fluid, and man, that stuff. You want to use rubber gloves because this stuff will eat your skin. It will absolutely eat your skin. Got an orange demon here. This one's tough to figure out because it does have paint popping. Do you know what paint popping is? Let me show you. Hang on just a second here as I take these pictures. It is a Friday night here at the Toy Car Collector household, and I hear little feet running across the... Uh, the floor upstairs because my nephew one of my great nephews are visiting as we are a fun place to go to visit on a saturday on a friday night and that is a beautiful orange but look at those paint pops on there that's so sad it really hurts the value of an original hot wheels in case you didn't already notice this video is a little thrown together what I got here now is some jack-in-the-box reproduction decals. They're pretty cool. I got them from redlineshop.com. That's right, redlineshop.com. That's John. He has been making these stickers for some time. Makes them one by one by hand in his shop. 
So fantastic. Let's open these up. Now what I'm going to do is I got this, I got a lot of Jackrabbit specials, but they're just not that, you know, popular because you only need one. Oops, can't even see what I'm doing here. Let's get back into there. Get back into the screen. I gotta get them out of this package here somehow. Squeeze them out of there. There it comes. All right. Come on. Jackrabbit reproduction sticker. Kind of like the original, but better. And then I got this Jackrabbit in near mint condition. It's kind of boring. Not anybody, nobody really needs one of those. But you know, if you throw on this $5 sticker sheet, I think we can get somebody interested. No, you can't see me there, can you? I can't get this thing off of here. I cannot get this sticker off the sheet. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I think this one goes on the front. I'm going to use my tweezers. These are stamp tweezers. Very handy for this situation. Very, I'm very anxious about getting this on perfectly. Ah. Get into the camera too. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's nice. That's nice. Adjust this down just a skosh. All right. Here we are. Look at that. Jack Rabbit special. Oh my goodness. That looks nice. And where does this one go? I think that's. I never know exactly where to put anything. All right, here we go. Let's put it on the back here. How about there? Oops. Flip it over. I think that came out all right. What do you think? That's pretty good. All right, now we got to put the ones on the side. This would probably be a lot easier if I hadn't had two couple of cocktails prior. We just had a nice dinner with everybody. Pizza and all that. What's your favorite pizza? Mine is three meat sausage, hamburger, and pepperoni. Just love that. Don't like mine cooked too much. I like it a little gooey. There we go. Thin crust. We eat that because we don't want to get too fat around here. Although we have been getting a little fat around here. We need to get some exercise eating less. You know what I mean? All right, look at that. Hey, look at that. So much better now. All right. That is what we're going to go with right there. Going to get the camera, pull the camera back here, put her out there. All right, let's take pictures for the website. Here we go, Jack and Rabbit, Jack in the Box, with the sticker sheet applied. Whoops, that's not going to do it. Whoops, got my fingers in that one. All right, there we go. That looks nice. I really like that. There she is, right there right there come on focus focus there we go next one up tonight is a mantis light green mantis gonna throw that up there in the camera take a picture get it ready for the website this one's actually the color is actually very very nice i have to check my collection and see if i have one this nice it's dull on on the bottom which i'm not really fond of but beautiful on top really is really is beautiful on top all right next one up is mighty maverick now one thing you'll notice about mighty mavericks is that they are subject to a lot of toning this one's got spotty toning you see that there and let me point it out to you right there see that let me see right there spots yeah there they are all over the, oh my goodness they're all over this thing but the sad thing is or the good thing is that the thing is beautiful very very bright very bright very 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 bright very nice and then you got to watch these spoilers this particular one is about half cracked and when i say half cracked let's see if we can let's see if we can see that can you see that okay but the spoiler comes up out of the interior wraps around and unfortunately that joint does crack this one's about half cracked so it's not end of the world but it'd be nice if it was better all right, the camera's turned off. Let's get her back on. And shoot the photo right. And this way. And this way. And this way. All right, got her photograph. That's good. That's a good one. Here's going. It's kind of fun. Snake. This one is a snake one from 1970. This one does not have any of the original stickers on it. It's got a bunch of goofy 
Hot Wheels stickers on it. But, you know, the snakes, they are twice as hard as the mongooses. So, they are generally twice as expensive as the mongooses. This one would look good with the original stickers. But, I'm going to sell it just like this. And, if it doesn't sell, then I will put on a set of reproduction stickers. Also, from RedlineShop.com. And, they do look nice. Next one up are mongoose. I'm going to photograph the mongoose. And, they're in good shape. The stickers wise they are in good shape that this particular one is hong kong with blue windows got the pictures taken hong kong with blue windows they're usually a little dull in the paint department but look how nice those stickers are you know if you could just float those stickers off and put it on another car that would be certainly worthwhile because those sticker sheets do go for up to a hundred dollars and here is a us us has the brighter thicker paint and this one also has very nice stickers, except that one in the center there. Got a little wear on that. Otherwise, it is a beauty. Look at that. I'm going to go ahead and photograph that. Let's throw it on the site tonight. Hopefully get that done. Sometimes I run out of steam before I get the whole thing done. But I've got a few more cars, including this peeping bomb, which is in beautiful shape. Nice dark magenta. Nice mark magenta. Nice mark magenta. Nice dark magenta. I think I'm slurring my words. There she is. She's all photographed, ready to go. Now, once I get done with the photographs, then I have to process them in the Photoshop to make sure they are the right size and make sure the coloration is good, the lighting's good. I do have three lights on the cars in my photo studio. And that's how we get this job done. Here's a swingy wing, but this swingy wing is going to need a wing on it. So, hmm, going to have to go see what I've got as far as wings. All right, so I got a uh, another whipped creamer here. Or, <laughs> what am I saying? A swingy wing. This one's got spots all over it, so it's not super popular. And I'm going to try to get this spoiler out. I'm going to take this toothbrush. And I'm going to push it in here and see if this pressure will get this thing to come out without breaking. This is probably a good way to go. I actually, I don't think I got it on tape, but I actually broke the last one I tried to do this with. And it's kind of a bummer. Oh, there we go. We got it out. So we'll put that one aside. Actually, what we're going to do with this yellow one is we're going to put in a reproduction spoiler, which I have right here somewhere. Came from one of the reproduction guys. Here it is. Very nice. Actually, it looks very real, except that it's weird. Okay, I guess this is the top here. It actually, looks way too real. Now I've dropped it. Now we're going to put this on. <laughs> it's so weird trying to make a video with, with hands around both sides of the camera. It's very funny. It's kind of funny. I'm going to put this in here. Oh, it goes right in. That's nice. A little bit smaller than the original, so that's good. So it fits in good. Let's see if we can get this in without breaking it. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Did I just put that in backwards? I did. I just put that in backwards. That's what I get for not paying attention. You know, the one of the most important lessons a person could learn in life is how to pay attention. It's not one that I specialize in. But that's okay. I managed to survive all these years without paying too close of attention. But look at that. The only thing that makes up for any deficits you have in your personality is hard work. Hard work will always make up for any problems that you might have. That looks real nice now. Got the reproduction spoiler in there. And when you're in the $39, $29 range, that is okay. So now we got the original spoiler. And we're going to put it on this beautiful, beautiful magenta with a beautiful shiny base look at that okay so let's see if we can get this in without any more damages uh, one side in up oh, look at that i'm putting it in backwards again for some reason i have a natural instinct to put the spoiler in backwards but i think we got her in the right side now and like i say it is really hard to operate with the camera one hand around one side one hand around the other side of the camera let's see if we can get that in without breaking it Okay, I'm getting a little nervous here about putting the spoiler in. I think I'm going to take this because I think I need to turn it in slightly. Push down, turn in, push down. Get down in there. All right, there we go. All right, we're all set now. Now we've got a beautiful minty 
magenta whipped creamer with a beautiful original spoiler ready to photograph and put up for sale at the highest possible price because it is minty you got to pay the money if you want the mint cars and there it is right there in the camera I'm gonna go over to the studio let's see how we do that one two three and four four pictures now we will also have the got to change up the one with the reproduction spoiler so we'll have to photograph that one two three and four there we go beautiful beautiful let's see what else we have in this special lot there are two whipped creamers one is better than the other there's the one there. I'm going to photograph that. One, two, three, four. All right. And that one's nice, but if you look at it real close, it's a little toned. Can you see the toning? Right in there. A little dark. Beautiful base. Beautiful top. It is mint, but it does have a little toning to it. Now, the neat thing is that I got another one. No toning. Look at that. Yellow. Minty. This one actually has a dull base. Oh my goodness. I think I'm going to, what do you think? I just drill those out. I just drill those out and swap the bases. Huh? What do you think? That would be something. Maybe in another hundred years, I'll do stuff like that. <laughs> All right. There it is. Boom. Shakalaka right there. And yellow taken care of. And now, what do we got? Two more cars? One more car there, blue, oh my gosh, the most beautiful car in the collection, blue 1973, Alive 55, classic nomad, so beautiful, that is a beauty. All right, that is a beauty, and one more car I have in this case, boom, look at that, oops, there she is. The blue enamel 4J car. I have never had this car before. Had a little stickers on the top. Wasn't able to get all of that sticker stuff off. Swapped out the damaged wheels for a little better looking wheels. And the car looks real nice. I'm going to photograph this, put it on one of the websites. I'm not sure if I'm going to sell it or not, but blue enamel 4J car. I've never had one of these before. This is fantastic. Whoops. As I drop it, there it is, Ford J car, blue enamel. Let's take a look inside. Real nice. Look at that. Look at the base. Okay. Very, very nice. All right. Well, let's see. Now that is all the photographs and all I'm going to do for this evening. And so thanks for joining me in the Hot Wheels studio and toy car collector. Whoops. Let's see. What is that? Oh, James Paul's order. Uh, and the Hot Wheels office tonight as my family's upstairs women only with the babies having a nice time we're all having cocktails tonight cheers to you wherever you are hope you're having a good evening and you have a great collection if you don't have a great collection come to toycarcollector.com and you can get all kinds of really cool stuff thanks a lot now bye